the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running. I always Namaste friends. So today in the entire Python chapter, this is chapter 105. So yesterday we saw that uh, panda is actually used for data analysis. <clears throat> we saw the head, we saw the tail, and even before that we saw the PD options. And uh, in the head and tail, you know, we saw like you know the five, the ten, you know. So we saw those things. Okay. So we have been taking step by step in the panda, and we also said in today's lecture we'll be doing more about the data analysis part. So we'll be taking a new data set. We'll be saving as something different and we will actually go from there. So, you know, in the data cleaning, okay, whether it's data cleaning or cleansing, it is basically you clean the data, which is a bad data or cleansing is also the same. So this is basically fixing the bad data in your data sets. So the bad data could be the empty cells, data in a wrong format, wrong data, even sometimes the duplicates uh, and in this tutorial we will be learning how to use them all so what i will actually do here is i will take this data so you see this data here it has everything so the data is here which is you know here it is actually uh, this is not a proper date format and we have all these things and here also we have something here also we have something so we actually saw everything so let's actually take this let's actually go here Let's actually take a new text window. Let me save this. Let me save this as this. And then what I will do here is I will say keyword English data analysis. So something goes more. I will actually start putting as one, two, and three. <clears throat> and then I'll save it as CSV. And then what I will do is I will save it as it is. Now this has been saved as CSV. Now what I will do is here I take this code. I go here and then I say import panda as panda and then I say keyword English data analysis. And then I, I would actually drop a column and then I can even convert this to a string. So wherever it is NA, I can actually do that. So let me actually try running this. So now see here, this is what I get. I get this entire thing because my maximum this thing is 9999. So now this is being converted to a string. So I get everything. All right. Very nice. So what I will also do here is let's actually try this command. I will actually use this and then I will say keyword keyword English data analysis and then I say this drop in a in place equals true and everything is the same the only this thing here is is a drop in a and this and then we say drop in a in place equals true so let's actually see how it runs So we have actually said that this is true. So it is actually giving me this two times the duration and stuff of that nature. And I actually convert this to a string. So if I want to replace my empty values, okay, where I have those empty values, where I can actually insert a new value. So in this way, I do not delete the entire row just because of some empty cells. So the fill NA method, remember the fill NA method allows me to replace the empty values with the new value. How do I do this? So here I go, I actually take this. Now this says 130, okay, fill NA 130. So let me see whether it is in the 130 here. I know there is a 22 and uh, Let me actually see whether it's in the 130 because that is the only thing I have to see. If I take this and then if I say keyword English data analysis and then I say fill NA and then I say this when I actually run this. So 
So here it is like 31 only, right? So there's 31. So I, I don't even know where this uh, 130 actually came. So I need to actually look into it. But I've actually said wherever there is null, I've actually asked it to replace by 130. So if you want to replace only for a specific column, you can actually specify the column name, the data frame. And we can also do something by using mean, median, or more. Okay, so that is a way we would actually calculate certain things like mean, median, and more. Let's actually come back to this lesson a little bit more and let's actually see how these things actually work. I will actually come and, you know, do this. So, you know, maybe tomorrow I'll actually do this along with the mean, median, and more. But as of now, let's actually, you know, put an end to this, uh, you know, and then we'll actually continue. I trust you have actually seen my lecture, probably enjoyed it. Uh, let's keep this as a high level understanding tomorrow we'll be doing more okay uh, so if you have any questions kindly let me know i'll actually try to help you to the best of my abilities till we see next time uh, i want to thank you and my wife jay she following me to follow my passion till we see next time thank you take care and cheers <laughs>